Right now, live at noon, the presidential race comes to Nevada. And so the time has come for a plan that will actually get America's workers back to work. Mitt Romney visits North Las Vegas, the plan he claims will get the economy back on track. You're watching 8 News Now at Noon with Gary Waddell and Denise Valdez. The news for Southern Nevada is now. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Fixing the economy, that was the message as the presidential campaign rolled into Las Vegas Valley today. Mitt Romney picked North Las Vegas for one reason. It is a city that has been faced with a financial crisis this past year. This is a place that's really struggling. And, uh, and of course, today we just got a new number from the unemployment report, and uh, it's another hammer blow to the struggling middle class families of America because the president has not had policies that put American families back to work. I do. I'll put them in place and get America working again. The Republican also rolled out his five-point plan for fixing the economy. Michelle Mortensen was there, and she is live at Sierra Truck Body and Equipment in North Las Vegas. Michelle? Not only did Governor Romney unveil his five-point plan for a stronger middle class, in a press event, he spoke about Nevada specifically and how he plans to help the Silver State. If I'm president of the United States, I'll tell people, please come help Nevada. Uh, I, I hope people in this country recognize that Nevada is open for business, doing well, that company meetings are welcome here, that it's a fabulous site for conventions. Come on to Las Vegas and enjoy this, uh, this environment of, of, uh, of, of warmth and, uh, and water and hospitality. And, uh, and I, I will certainly carry that message and, and hope that people recognize that this is a great place to come and visit. I know it's a great place to live as well. Romney also talked about his tax reform plans. He promised to bring down the tax rate, but the folks with higher incomes will not pay a smaller share, as alleged. Romney also had a message for Senator Harry Reid, who's saying Romney hasn't paid taxes in years. Harry Reid really has to put up or shut up, all right? So, Harry, who are your sources? I understand what you're trying to do. You're, you're trying to deflect uh, the fact that jobs numbers are bad, that Americans are out of work, and you're trying to throw anything up on the screen that'll grab attention. I have paid taxes every year, and a lot of taxes, a lot of taxes. So Harry is simply wrong. Romney went on to say that all of his financials since 2002 and his tax return from 2010 are on his website right now, and that when his 2011 tax return is completed, he'll post it on there also. Now, Romney is now on his way to Reno, where he will be attending several private fundraising events. Denise and Gary, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Michelle. President Obama also focused on jobs today. National unemployment rate last month jumped to 8.3 percent, even though the number of jobs went up. The president says there's still too many people, though, looking for work. We've got more work to do on their behalf, uh, not only to reclaim all the jobs that were lost during the recession, uh, but also to reclaim the kind of financial security that too many Americans have felt was slipping away from them for too long. While unemployment is up, the president did note that the private sector has created four and a half million new jobs in the past 29 months. Vice President will be here in Las Vegas tomorrow. Joe Biden will be speaking at the Disabled American Veterans National Convention going on at Bally's. So big companies here in the Valley are hiring today. Wells Fargo, the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino, and Choice DNA Laboratory will hold an education and job fair. It's going to happen in less than an hour from 1 until 4 today at the Sahara West Library. You can come in and you can apply for a job. We do know that jobs will be filled right away at this fair. However, employers haven't told us exactly how many jobs are available. We have just learned that the suspect shot by an FBI agent here in the Valley has died. That shooting took place yesterday. Yesterday afternoon, an FBI agent was assisting Metro's criminal apprehension team following a man wanted on murder and armed robbery charges. Officials say the suspect pulled out a weapon while being pursued by the agent and officers in the parking lot at the Arizona Charlie's on Boulder Highway. That's when the FBI, FBI agent shot him. He died at the hospital. An investigation of the incident is underway. The Nevada native killed in the Colorado movie theater shooting was laid to rest this morning. Navy veteran Jonathan Blunk died on July 20th when James Holmes walked into the Aurora movie theater and opened fire. The 26-year-old originally from Nevada died while protecting his girlfriend. 
His viewing was held yesterday in Reno. Blunk and his wife were estranged at the time of his death. He does leave behind two young children. Boxer Floyd Mayweather is now a free man. In fact, he was released from the Clark County Detention Center uh, just minutes after midnight. He served just 60 days of a 90-day sentence. Mayweather went to jail in June on domestic battery charges. Records show his sentence was reduced because of work and good behavior. Well, it was an escape that captured the attention of the nation. Now we finally know where the chimp who survived it all will call home. Co-owners of CJ the Chimp tell 8 News Now that she will go to a chimp sanctuary in Bend, Oregon. You may remember it was last month when CJ and her companion Buddy escaped. Sadly, Buddy was shot by police while trying to, the, they were trying to get the chimps back into their cages. Now, CJ's co-owner says they believe moving her to a sanctuary is best for everyone. They have all the benefits of captivity. They have great food, they have treats, they have enrichment. So it's not gonna be like such a shock. The goal is to have CJ moved into her new home with her new chimp family in about a month. While the drought is gripping much of the nation, next, the steps our leaders in Washington are taking to try to make sure those who need help are getting it. And break out the Kleenex because we are saying farewell to our good friend Gary. The special surprise that started his day this morning as he gets ready to say goodbye. Gary, it's my pleasure to congratulate you on your retirement from KLAS TV after 32 years. You've earned Southern Nevadans trust and I join them in wishing you the very best as you begin the next chapter of your story. Oh, Congratulations, great. Gary. Very nice. Thank you very much, Governor. That was nice. We're just sprinkling the surprises throughout wow. the afternoon. Wow. All right. Yes, they're going to be a bunch. <laughs> but we do have to do the news, so let's talk about yeah, this story do. today. Uh, the consequences of a plan to pump water from rural Nevada to Las Vegas were revealed today. The assessment contains a new alternative proposal that wouldn't take water from the Utah side of the Snake Valley, but from four valleys in central and northeast Nevada. The new plan was created after the Bureau of Land Management's preliminary assessment showed concerns about how it would impact streams and wildlife. The drought that is gripping most of the nation is forcing Congress to act now. Today, the House voted to extend disaster assistance to sheep and cattle producers who really have been hit the hardest. The $383 million measure will restore four aid programs that actually expired last year. However, it's being met with some criticism from those who say the bill really just falls short of a proposed five-year farm bill. The Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, or GLAD, has launched a so-called counter-protest at Chick-fil-A restaurants around the nation. It's holding a national same-sex kiss day. GLAD is asking same-sex couples to go to Chick-fil-A restaurants and kiss in protest, and then post a video or photos on social media. The event comes two days after Chick-fil-A's Appreciation Day. That was put together by former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee to support statements by the CEO of the chain that say that he thinks marriage should be the biblical form between a man and a woman. And by the way, there are no Chick-fil-A's in Nevada. In Nevada, that is right. right. So. Wish you could be in our studios today. The uh, energy is electric. All day long, we're going to be saying goodbye to our friend Gary. Coming up after the break, we'll take a trip down memory lane as he shares some of his thoughts on retiring today. Well, happy retirement, Gary. Um, uh. Obviously, you deserve it, because you were on television when I was a kid, and that's a long time ago. <laughs> Congratulations. Pawn Star is my favorite show. I love that show. I sit and watch. I was watching it the other night, just uh -huh. hour, half hour after half hour after half hour. I just love that show. And little do you know, he's I, watching you night I gotta after go night. Down, i got to go down and say hello to them one of these days. That's great. I just love it. Well, throughout the week, we have been uh, celebrating and saluting Gary as he gets ready to retire today. Uh, we kicked off his last day um, on the air today with a, a big surprise this morning. Yeah, talk about it. <laughs> Sorry. It was. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Ready? I'm ready. Go. Oh, man. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I thought the type was a bit large. <laughs> uh, Gary now has a street sign <laughs> named after him. It's actually right as you enter uh, the Channel 8 uh, drive in our studios and of course we had a whole bunch of employees out there to uh, salute you i didn't even know about that surprise I today. had no clue they're keeping all my this friend jim under... resh was driving me and he, he was i don't know what i was clueless <laughs> completely completely yeah we're only halfway done uh, as we take a trip down memory lane with uh, gear we also wanted to hear um about him from retiring of sure. course and you recently sat down with paula so here's what you had to say 
Gary. <laughs> you, can call me, you can call me Gary. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I have. I have all these things to I talk that. It about. Like, it looks like the play playbook of the offensive offensive coordinator in the NFL. That's who I am. Oh, you okay. thought I was someone else. Ah. Anyway, um, all these honors that are going to unwrap, I, I know culminating about. on August 3rd, your retirement. Yes. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> Embarrassed, <laughs> uh, self-conscious, um, a little out of my element. Uh, you know, I, I've told you and I, I told Emily when we talked and she said, how do you want to do this? And I said, I just want to go on vacation and never come back. And then a couple of weeks later, somebody will call Imelda at the switchboard and say, uh, where's Gary? I haven't seen him in a while. And she'll say, oh, he doesn't work here anymore. And, that, and you know, and that's the end of it. That's how I wanted to go. Yeah. That's have, really how I wanted to go. You have never wanted to be the center of attention, which to me makes you the ultimate newsman. It's about the news. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know where to go with that, but thank you, yeah. I mean, I really have felt that way. I mean, it's not me, it's just, it's what we're doing, it's what we're bringing, what we've been bringing home for 20 some years. Yeah. yeah. Are you proud of what you've done? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, I've never watched it. I know. Can you believe, I've never watched my, I, I've never seen myself on television. Well, you know, I mean, occasionally it's in the monitor as you walk by someplace, yeah. but I've never sat down and watched myself on television. I feel very uncomfortable doing that and, and I, I will not like this when it plays somewhere, you know. Um, when, I, when I got the, the Mark Twain uh, uh, Hall of Fame award, I, I said my advice to all the young people was to burn the tapes. <laughs> so you don't have to live with those younger tapes for years and years and years to come. So, really? Yeah. But really? I really, you know, I really just kind of wanted to just quietly go away. And that's the most of me I've ever watched, I believe, in one sitting. Yeah, well, uh, he, he thought he burned all the tapes. We found a few of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I didn't burn them. I should have. I didn't. I don't take my own advice. Don't I come back today. <sighs> Save us. Get choked up. I know, me yeah. too, right, Ted? But you know what? Oh, let's get to the forecast. Let's show what's going on. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, right? Yeah. For your last day, It would have been fun Gary. to unveil that in the rain. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is true. So I held it off for you, right? <laughs> That's what I did. Okay, we've got uh, mostly clear skies outside right now, but humidity is still up at 24 to 25%. Obviously, this is not like what we have in the desert. So there's still a slight chance of some thunderstorms. A very slight chance, though, even with these numbers up to 25. So keep that in mind. Temperatures at this hour now. Some of us already... Already just above the century mark at Lamb and Owens there, DI and Lamb and uh, 102 for Henderson College of 95 at the century mark. Cactus and Jones double nines for you right now. 98 for Boulder City. Armagosa Valley already at 104 degrees, and we start to see these numbers still going. Permit 98, Mount Charleston, nice cool 76 degrees for our current temperature. The heat wave still continues in the southern Plain states. Look at this, Tulsa, the big D at 103. Ouch, Little Rock at 95 degrees. Raleigh coming in at 88 for those current temperatures. Meanwhile, if you're traveling, I'm thinking down here in the central part of the U.S. all the way to Nashville, we could still have some severe weather to pop up later on today. But uh, as we look at our forecast right now, really not much monsoonal moisture at this hour. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, as we take a look at the radar image, we have one cell that developed on the other side of the Spring Mountains right there, and that's about it. But uh, I'm not looking for anything big right now. <laughs> Gary's giving me my time cues. 102 degrees today, mainly sunny with light winds, thunderstorms, a 20% chance of thunderstorms for the day today. Seven day forecast now, here's how it looks. 104 degrees for Sunday, hotter later on the week as we dry things out. Stay tuned as we say goodbye to Gary on his last noon newscast. That's coming up. Congratulations, Gary. I just wanna say on behalf of law enforcement in Southern Nevada, a great job, and you'll be sorely missed. Good luck. It's like my get out of free, jail free card. What <laughs> yeah, do you think? there it is. That's there what you we should have got from there the you sheriff. Go. We'll get one of those. Okay. <laughs> a few weeks ago, uh, Gabby Douglas wasn't even sure she would make the U.S. Olympic gymnastics team. Well, now the team, nicknamed the Flying Squirrel, is on top of the world after winning gold in the women's gymnastics all around. She's just 16. Douglas spent the past two years. Well, look at these pictures wow. making dreams come true. She almost gave up after moving from Virginia to Iowa to train. She had to overcome homesickness. Douglas is the first African-American to win this Olympic title. And wow. her smile is just contagious. Unbelievable. Uh, so here is your uh, up-to-the-minute medal count. The U.S. has added three more swimming golds from Michael Phelps, Missy Franklin, and 15-year-old Katie Ledecky 
China is in the lead with 42 total medals with 20 golds. USA second with 41 total medals, 21 gold. The hosts, Great Britain, have moved to third with 22 total medals. But they get to keep all the ones we don't give out. Yes. We'll be right back. He is out. There's still a lot of smoke in the hotel. Who's that guy? <laughs> I don't know. We're looking back to what, 1980s? 80, 1980 was the MGM fire. And who's the young lady sitting next to you? Gail Westrup. She's been Is here that a long Gail time. Westrup entering Gail. our studios oh as my we gosh. speak? Oh, I hope no. you were saying nice things about oh, me. We were. How are you? Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, I'll we'll tell, tell the tar we'll tell the tarantula story before this is over. <laughs> it's your fault. Oh, it's no, your I, fault. I vaguely remember this. Yes, as well, we'll so. tell it. We will tell yes. it. Well, you know, I knew when I left, I turned the anchor desk over to good hands. I just didn't know you. I've kept it dusted and you cleaned up. You have been done an kind of incredible stuff. job. It's been fun. It's amazing, been a lot of fun. amazing. Thank you good for job. coming. <laughs> Are you still in Sacramento? Still in Sacramento. Wow. Thank when you was for the last time you, two, you saw each other? Oh, God, Maybe it. one trip back to Vegas after I left. Yeah, but, but it was it's the been, 80s I somewhere. left in 84. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was the 80s somewhere. Yeah. And oh, this gosh. town, uh, thank goodness someone picked me up at the airport or I'd still have been lost. <laughs> we, it know, has grown so much. We changed so it a much. little bit. Just a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Right. Good well, job. We'll talk. <laughs> We'll we'll talk. Up. We gotta talk. <laughs> All right. So, what do they want us to do? Are we doing any time left? I don't know. Left? Are we dancing? Yeah, no, no, we have time left. Did, did you <laughs> have something you wanted I to did. share? I did. I just want to say, viewers? 32 years. This is the last time for eight news now at noon that I will be here. I want to say a couple of things before we go. First, thanks, Denise. It has been so much fun. Your passion for animals is so wonderful, <laughs> and we've talked about that over and over. Yeah, also, thank you. you, your food, you've made me eat things that I <laughs> would, would never, never have eaten <laughs> and will never eat again. But I want to thank you for that. My pleasure. For all of you who have watched this effort, thank you very much. We've tried every day to bring you the best, most accurate, hopefully enjoyable newscast you could. I will miss all that. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't going to do this, anyhow. I'm sorry. You, yeah. no, it's okay. It's okay. Anyhow. But they made we'll me. continue to do that. It's been a great responsibility, one I haven't taken lightly. And I know that this place will continue without me and that they will continue to do the good work they've always done. You, Everybody sent cards, letters, uh, emails, um, Facebooks, phone calls. I haven't gotten to all of them. It's been so busy. But I, I promise you that I will get to each and every one, and I appreciate every one of them. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I'll be around for the four and the six. I know you will. And we, have, we need to point out that he's got his mascot here. This is oh, yeah, Frankie. Here's Frankie, <laughs> just in case. Frankie. Frankie has lived in the newsroom for the last 12 years, and she's going to go home with me. She's also retiring, but anyhow, we have this. And Gail Westrup and I have a, a, a tarantula story that we will tell we'll later. We'll get caught up on we'll okay. it yeah. later. <laughs> you got it. Well, Gail, thanks so much for coming out, because oh, I know you man. two haven't seen each other I thought other I was coming time. for a luncheon, and then I got this cameo surprise, too. So <laughs> I'm so awesome. wonder It's so wonderful. Awesome. I've, I am blown away. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. No clue. Gary's only had a handful of, of co-anchors, so it's it means a lot, I know, for him to be yeah. here. He's, he's bracketed so, by history, I think, this Everything afternoon. I know, I learned from this lady right here. <laughs> this one right here. Everything I know. Oh, there's a, it's great to see you. Yeah, really you must is. be out of time. We I feel like I'm home. We do have we a luncheon that we're all going to go to after this, and we'll bring you some of those highlights and more surprises for Gary on our newscast here at 4 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. See you then. Bye-bye. Cox Bundle customers get TV, internet, and phones all for one low price. Yeah, since we're the competition, we can't have Cox. But since so many other people have it, we don't really need it. Only near these bucket trucks.